Autism and Down syndrome can look similar at some points because the behaviors may look similar, but they're not the same. They are different. The spectrum is where it's kind of a rainbow and an array of different developmental milestones that maybe a person hasn't met yet. That's crucial to their development to be socially participant in in the world, in their daily lives. So there may be somebody that's super high functioning, that they have a job, that they live on their own, and then there may be somebody else on the other end of this rainbow that needs daily living help. And then there's everybody in between where some pick up some pieces and some pieces are there.